Neptune like you've never seen before, a new planetary mystery tonight. We end with an astonishing new look at Neptune, the farthest known planet in our solar system. Recent images and data have unveiled a side of Neptune that defies much of what scientists thought they knew. During a widely broadcasted symposium, renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson delivered a surprising revelation. His words sent ripples across the scientific community, challenging long-held ideas about this distant ice giant. For years, Neptune was seen as a quiet blue world at the edge of our solar system. Discovered in 1846 not by sight, but by the strange movements of Uranus, Neptune was confirmed through mathematics before telescopes ever found it. Since then, only one spacecraft, Voyager 2, has visited Neptune in a brief 1989 flyby that showed us its swirling storms, fierce winds, and its signature deep blue color. But now, Tyson has brought forward findings from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and advanced Earth-based radio observatories that suggest Neptune is far more complex, and far more mysterious, than we ever realized. Unexpected Interior a churning, chaotic world at the heart of Tyson's talk was new data that paints a different picture of Neptune's inner structure. Rather than the simple layers we once imagined, gas on the outside, ice is in the middle, and a rocky core deep within, Neptune seems to host a series of ever-shifting, churning zones. These zones don't follow the expected rules of planetary science. Even more surprising, JWST and ground-based arrays detected unusual warmth beneath Neptune's cloud tops. But Neptune is far too far from the Sun for sunlight to generate this heat, and none of its moons are large enough to cause tidal heating. Something inside the planet is producing more energy than current science can explain. A shifting magnetic field in exotic ices Tyson also revealed that Neptune's already strange magnetic field is now seen behaving in even stranger ways. Instead of being stable, it's drifting, warping, and reforming over time, almost like it's alive. This has led scientists to believe Neptune might generate its magnetic field differently than Earth or Jupiter. Instead of liquid metal, it might rely on super-pressurized exotic ices that become electrically charged under intense pressure, producing flows that create a constantly shifting magnetic map. Some researchers are even beginning to wonder if Neptune contains hollow pockets or layered cavities inside, structures that could trap and reflect energy, making the planet resonate in unexpected ways. If true, this would force a complete rethink of how planets are built. Radio signals and unfamiliar materials even stranger are the new radio waves coming from deep within Neptune's atmosphere. Normally, such emissions come from interactions between a planet's magnetic field and solar wind. But these new signals don't fit that pattern. They seem to emerge from inside the planet and don't match anything we've observed before. Could there be unknown quantum or chemical processes occurring inside Neptune's dense, high-pressure layers? And there's more. Evidence is growing that Neptune may contain superionic ices, a rare form of matter that behaves like both a solid and a liquid. These materials, thought to exist only under extreme lab conditions, may be flowing deep inside the planet. If they do, they could help explain Neptune's strange heat patterns and chaotic interior energy flows whether from the inside out Neptune's winds are among the fastest in the solar system. Reaching up to 2,100 km per hour, 1,300 miles per hour. Traditionally, scientists believed these winds were driven by the sun's energy and the planet's rotation. But now, new models suggest these storms may actually be powered from the inside out, driven by pulses of heat and matter rising from the deep interior, rather than solar energy. This would make Neptune the first known planet where weather is mostly self-generated. It's like the planet has its own internal engine, constantly stirring its atmosphere from beyond Neptune. Rewriting planetary science, why does any of this matter? Because Neptune, this seemingly distant, icy sphere, is not just another planet in the solar system. It is a template. A cosmic benchmark. Across the galaxy, astronomers have identified thousands of exoplanets that fall into a similar size category. These worlds, often referred to as mini-Neptunes or sub-Neptunes, are among the most commonly discovered types of planets by space missions such as Kepler, TESS, and upcoming next-generation observatories. 
These distant planets were assumed to be scaled versions of Neptune, cool, gaseous bodies made up of hydrogen, helium, and ices. But if Neptune itself turns out to be far more unusual, more exotic, more structurally and thermodynamically complex than our current science allows, then our assumptions about all those other worlds may be fundamentally flawed. Are we looking at a universe full of Neptunes that are not what they seem? Neil deGrasse Tyson's provocative insight, that Neptune might not belong neatly in the planetary category we've placed it in, opens the door to an extraordinary idea. That Neptune may represent an entirely different kind of celestial object. One that sits in the gray space between conventional planets and failed stars like brown dwarfs. It has no fusion core, yet it emits more heat than it receives. Its interior chemistry and dynamics don't fit any of the known planetary blueprints. If Neptune is something in between, it could mark the birth of a new classification. Not planet, not star, something else entirely. This reframing could force scientists to expand the vocabulary of astrophysics. No longer would planets be defined only by size and orbit, but by internal mechanisms, energy dynamics, and structural architecture. It's possible we've been seeing a whole class of transitional bodies without knowing how to name them. And now, Neptune may be offering us the first clue to recognize them. A living system in balance Tyson's description of Neptune as a chaotic equilibrium is a poetic yet powerful scientific concept. It suggests that Neptune is not a cold, dead husk drifting at the edge of sunlight, but a self-balancing, reactive system where inner processes fuel a living storm of energy and motion. Unlike planets that settle into thermodynamic stillness as they age, Neptune appears alive with internal drama. Temperatures shift beneath its cloud tops in ways we can't explain. Magnetic fields drift and reshape like fluid structures. Plasma-like materials may churn in sudden pulses. Exotic ices may slide in deep, slow conveyor belts across layers of high-pressure strata. In this view, Neptune is a feedback loop of hidden activity, an orchestra of competing forces that don't cancel each other out, but hold the planet in a precarious balance. It's a dance between order and chaos, a living planet whose weather systems, thermal behaviors, and gravitational signals are orchestrated by unseen hands beneath its opaque atmosphere. Such a system defies traditional planetary modeling, where planets are treated like layered onions, simple, static, and predictable. Neptune breaks that mold. It demands we rethink what it means for a planet to be stable, dead, or even understood. The frontier of the unknown if a planet so seemingly familiar could hide so much complexity, then what else have we missed? What lies beyond Neptune's own orbit, lurking in the Kuiper belt, or deep within the Oort cloud? Could there be more bodies just like it, or stranger still, worlds with interiors governed by rules we haven't discovered yet? This moment is a reminder that the universe does not obey the limits of our imagination. It surpasses it. Neptune is not just a planet. It's a mystery wrapped in methane clow and it raises an even more profound question. If one of our own neighbors, a planet just four light hours away, can turn out to be this alien and unfamiliar, then what surprises await us in the galaxies beyond? A new dawn for planetary discovery this is not merely a chapter in planetary science. It's the beginning of a rewrite. Thanks to advanced instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope and highly sensitive Earth-based arrays, we are lifting the veil on planets once considered settled science. We are beginning to see with sharper eyes, and with that clarity comes discomfort, but also discovery. The story of Neptune is now one of transformation, not just for the planet itself, but for our entire perspective on the cosmos. It urges us to question what we've categorized, labeled, and assumed. It invites us to imagine new types of worlds, new classes of celestial bodies, and new laws of planetary evolution that may yet be written. DS and swirling blue storms. It's a mirror reflecting how little we truly understand about planetary formation.